Welcome to Strip Cover Lit. I am Adrian Fort. And I'm Dalton Gentry. And we're here with something very special to us, very special to the channel, and hopefully very special to the future of Strip Cover Lit. So we normally do this on Variety Hour. Yes. But due to overwhelming support and the fact that this would literally take up half of Variety Hour, we are doing a patron haul. You fuckers seem to like us for some reason. <laughs> Uh, so we have a ton of patrons here that we're going to introduce to yes. put on set for the rest of forever. Uh, I guess we just start. Yeah. First and foremost, we have Yumi. Now, Yumi sent us an email in which she um, lined out a lot of things that she is interested in. And all of these things are very different. Yes. Yumi prefaced with saying, just wanted to send you an email because I do not exist on the internet. Right. No Facebook, no Twitter, no YouTube, no nothing. Which, hey, I respect Thank that. Thank you. Finally someone who follows direction. And finally someone <laughs> who does not exist on the internet, right? Yes. I mean... Uh, but just a sea of things that she has enjoyed. Uh, her favorite novel, or the one she fell in love with, was The Great Gatsby. Right. Uh, her favorite series was Legend of Drizzt, R.A. Salvatore. Thank you. Really seems to like Humphrey Bogart. Humphrey Bogart, uh, 1984 was mentioned, said she wasn't crazy about sticks. Right. But I'm okay with that, not a lot of people are. Right. So, a huge collective imagination. Very diverse interests. Very diverse. So, to represent Yumi on set, uh, we did the math here, put a little computation into the old calculator motor, and came up with The Collector, Guardians of the Galaxy. A little Benicio del Toro action. That's perfect. On the strip cover lit set. I'm, uh, I'm very excited about that. I like this that is... one. That is it was really good. It fits everything together. Yes. Uh, with such an eclectic interest. Yes. It is not indicative of any one interest. But, but all it shows. Interests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The collector liked everything. Right? Indeed so. And knew what it all was. So, Yumi, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> Nora. I believe it's pronounced Nora Ghanem, G H A N N A M. Yeah. Ghanem. I hope very, I'm pronouncing uh, that right. Very big Bernie Sanders supporter. She's feeling the burn. Feeling the burn, which is huge to us. Yes. Because we like Bernie Sanders. So we got a Bernie Sanders action figure. So we got a Bernie Sanders action figure because if you didn't notice, Bernie Sanders looks strikingly like Howard the Duck. You ruined it. Did I? I was hoping we would just put Howard the Duck on set as Bernie Sanders. <laughs> just not acknowledge it? And never acknowledge it. <laughs> Look at Howard the Duck. That's Bernie Sanders. That's Bernie Sanders. That's a that Bernie is Sanders spot figure. on Bernie Sanders. Uh, we really wanted to find Bernie. So we went through and we're like, oh, there's so many good options we could get away with here. We've always wanted the old men from the Muppets, yeah. Bernie Sanders. Yeah. And then Howard just pops up and like, oh my god. That's, that's Bernie from the 50s. <laughs> so, we have Howard the Duck, a.k.a. Bernie the Duck. Uh, forever to immortalize Nora on set of Strip Covered Lit. Bernie Sanders, right? Bernie Sanders. See? Yeah. See? It's all coming to now. It, it, it comes full circle. It makes sense. You're up next. Uh, Grace Donahue, whose Twitter I is... I dropped my paperwork. From the Shire, right? From the Shire. Which makes me believe she is a great reader, appreciates fine literature such as Lord of the Rings. I like her as a person already. Appreciates fine literature as well as Lord of the Rings. <laughs> no. So what else could be from the Shire except for Tobey Maguire? It's Tobey Maguire? It's not even close. It's, oh, that's Frodo. It's Frodo Baggins. Frodo, Frodo Baggins. You could have at least dropped like Elijah Wood. We should have... We need to get Dildo Baggins on the set. You think so? We do. Okay, if you say so. Got, but Frodo Baggins. But. Uh, I am assuming that Grace is joining us on our read-through of Lord of the Rings. Um, if not, it seems that she's made that journey before. Oh, absolutely. Journey. Ah. Journey. Ah. <laughs> Uh, but no, Frodo is perfect. Uh, yes. From the Shire, you don't get any better than Frodo. Uh, we're reading Lord of the Rings right now, so... Hopefully that's the Lord of the Rings thing. And it's not I can't think of else. anything else that re references Shire, so it's got to be Lord of the Rings. Uh, uh, maybe she's from a small town called the Shire. Maybe she is. The Shire, <laughs> the Shire Boston? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, but Grace, thank you very much. We greatly appreciate it. Yes. Uh, I'm going to have fun with this next one because I love these things. 
Missy Balthrop has become a patron. Yes. She says she is a huge Harry Potter fan. Uh, she loves Adrian Reed's Harry Potter. Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. Yes. We've got a lot of Harry Potter figures. We're running out of options. But we don't. We don't have an unboxing for Harry Potter. Yes. Now, we did this last week with Doctor Who, and we got the Ninth Doctor, and I fucking love these ideas of random Harry Potter characters. Uh, so we are going to open, for the first time live, our Harry Potter sets, and we will find out together who Missy Balthrop will be represented by. Uh, these are the Funko Vinyls Mystery Minis, if that matters. Are toys big on the internet? I'm not sure. Okay. Anyway. Uh, opening. All I do on the internet is complain about literature and smoke cigars. So. <laughs> oh, it's in another bag. I hate my life. Okay. Missy Balthrop. Go on, Dalton. Sorry. Forever as Crookshanks. Crookshanks. Crookshanks from Harry Potter. There's something off about that cat. There's something off about that I don't cat. Trust that cat. I like that cat. That cat's an awesome character. Uh, so we wanted to have a little bit more fun than just getting another Harry Potter character. So, Missy, you will forever be our Crookshanks on set. Yes. Indeed. Now, Taryn Lowry, Taryn Lowry also said that she will be joining us on our journey through uh, the Hobbit world. Is that fair to say? I'll give you that. What is the world called? The mi uh, Middle Earth. Middle Earth. Yes. She will be joining us on our journey through Middle Earth. And uh, she even tweeted out a picture of her copy of Lord of the Rings. She's reading along with us and, might I add, she's loving it. Really? She is loving it. Really? Yes. You're making that up. I am not making that up. She told me personally she hates it. She's just saying that <laughs> You are to, a liar and a son of a bitch. She is saying that to uh, make you feel better about yourself. No! Because, after all, every morning you wake up and you have to be Dalton all over again. A so... lot of people love the Lord of the Rings. Anyway. And who is more enveloped in Middle-earth than Dumbledore? That is Gandalf. What? That is Gandalf. They are different no. people. No. Yes. yes. No. Dumbledore has been around in Middle-earth for a very long time. He is enveloped in Middle-earth. And I would like to think that Dumbledore would be very appreciative of somebody who was reading and enjoying the history of Middle-earth. What? Looks a lot like Dumbledore. And this Frondo, if we drew little circular glasses on him, would look a lot like the Harry Potter, would he not? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like you've addressed that before. Mm -hmm. Somewhere along the lines, I feel like I have. But anyway, Taryn, thank, thank you, you very much. Uh, you will forever be our Gandalf. Uh, and we have one last one. And, uh, no, no, two. Oh, we have two. We have two. Oh, my. I can't keep track of things. Uh, this person goes by Andy, uh, but I do believe her full name is Andrea. Uh, but she does go by Andy. Uh, Andy Garcia. That's why she goes by Andy. That's amazing. I just dawned on me. Uh, Andrea Garcia, we looked at your blog and we found out that you are a lover of the genre of horror. Which not a lot of people really get into horror on book Not two. a lot of people will admit to. Not a lot of people <laughs> admit to. I like horror. I like a lot of Stephen And we're King. coming up on the, on the season for the genre. It's almost October. Yeah. So we say to ourselves, how do we represent horror... And appreciate it. Yes. So, you shall forever be immortalized as Jason Voorhees. What more iconic horror figure can you come up with? There's not many. That is, it, besides having Tim Curry on set. Yeah. And I'm Which, not talking about the figure. Honestly, I don't know if I'm ready to have Tim Curry on set. <laughs> uh, but so, we hope you appreciate this because since you are a reader of the horror genre, we wanted to immortalize you with somebody who is the horror genre. A connoisseur connoisseur of, of the fine horror arts of horror. Which is way more literature than, for example, fantasy. I hate you so much. Andrea Garcia, thank you very much. And you have one more? Finally. You have one more. We have uh, someone very near and dear to myself. Dalton doesn't necessarily care for this individual. Um, Do you just throw that in there? Not I'm, just people <laughs> I'm just trying to get people against Dalton because apparently the... Uh, Comments in the Harry Potter videos are, are a, a dumpster fire <laughs> of, of hatred for oh, Adrian. amazing. Which is we get an influx of new new re, new wa viewers to our Adrian Reads Harry Potter video that have been sent here by Jen Campbell. People are going through those older videos and trying to light me on fire. So Jen Campbell became a patron of Strip Cover Lit. And forever to commemorate 
Jim Campbell on set, as I feel a kindred spirit here, we are both lords of the dark arts. We got Lordy Voldy right here. Old Voldemort himself. Voldemort himself. You say the dark arts, you reference poetry. We're kindred spirits because we're both into poetry, which no one else cares about. Poetry is a dark art. Poetry is a dark art. This yes. is good. Uh, I have to go back to this because it popped in my head. There is a gif. Is it pronounced gif? Do you say jif? I say gif. Gif. I like gif. Uh, there's a gif of a little cartoon animal, and like the room around him is on fire, and he's eating dinner. And he says, this, <laughs> this is, is fine. fine. That's me with Harry Potter right Zooms now. Zooms in. This is fine. That's me. Uh, but no, Chin has sent us a wave of new Harry Potter viewers, uh, which we very much appreciate. Because we are now destroying that world for them. Yes. Much in the way that Voldemort destroyed the world of magic and muggle. So, Jim Campbell will forever be our Lord Voldemort. Uh, so, that is our patron hall. Yeah. Uh, uh, incredible, overwhelming support, and believe it or not, we still have more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we are still in the works. If you haven't seen yourself pop up yet, you will be coming soon. Uh, we do put a lot of thought into this, and we really want to get the best figure that we can come up with. Yes. Uh, that our little brains can manage. I am a master of the dark arts. <laughs> so, your little brain. Okay, I'll give my, you that one. My black heart. If you like things like this, this is a little unique to book two, but we want to take some time to appreciate some people who have really supported us. Yes. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a like as well to support the patrons who supported us. If you want to become a patron, there is a link in the description below. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, at Strip Cover, and on Facebook, at Strip Cover Lit.